Hey guys, what's up? Hello, welcome back to another video of the Sea of Diamond series. The last episode, we actually completed all our quests again, so we could have 153 quests out of 153 quests, so we could have our quest cape back again, because there's no real reason we want it, it just looks cool. And also, it also applies as like the closest teleport to a fairy ring, which will be kind of useful every once in a while. I don't, I, sometimes it's kind of nice, I don't even remember when, probably done during clues. But anyway, from doing the quest, we actually unlocked a few things, like access to the Tomb of the Mask kit when that comes out, and we also have Guardians of the Rift, the minigame for runecrafting XP. And I'm thinking that we should get it to 65, and maybe we just can just grind it out for a while, because we want to get our runecrafting up eventually, and this would be a fun time to learn it. And so I'm just doing some prep right now, just killing a bunch of these Abyssal Guardians, trying to get the large pouch, I think, for holding rune essence, because I have the small, medium, and giant pouch, but not the large, apparently. So we're just going to be in here for a while, just trying to get that, before we start our grind in the Guardians of Rift. We're also already on the Lunar Spell book, but we'll get to that in a little bit. So I'll be here for a little bit, and hopefully we get that pouch pretty soon. Hey, that was that was lucky. It was literally just like like a few minutes, and we got it. Even though it's like a 1 in 42, so it's not bad. But yeah, let's let's go get to learning Guardians of the Rift. Before we explain how this mini game works i just thought it's kind of funny that since this area is underground i mean underwater they actually added a little a little reference right here now we're finally on the guardians of the rift official world i still need to figure out how to do this i'm like just watching a guide on the side and reading and like figuring out how to do it but i think it should be pretty straightforward apparently this is going to be like one of the faster room crafting xp methods and we can't really join until the game ends, just like how Winter Todd is, or it's kind of like Temfrost with the reward system too. But we'll figure it out. So I think it's just like we need to grab these ores, mine some ores, some cells, and something else. And then he's got to just keep charging. You can't see him, but there's a big runic, rune crafting guardian just chilling over there. And we just got to keep protecting him until he gets 100%. And he's going to wipe out all the abyssal demons from the rift because they're spread into this world or something like that. So we'll wait until the next game and we'll try our best. We'll see how, how good this is. Uh, we have our rune patches and we also have our lunar spell book for NPC contact because apparently after a certain amount of time, these pouches will degrade and well, that's check wall wars. <laughs> They're all just running. But yeah, these will degrade every once in a while and we're going to have to repair them. And if we don't repair them in time, they're just going to be destroyed. So we could NPC contact the dark mage in the abyss and he'll repair them just by talking to him. So let's just wait till the next game and see if we can figure this out. Still a little confused. Well, everybody's got the dragon pickaxe, but it's still a little confused. But I think I'm just going to be following everybody. I think everyone usually does this until 200 fragments, if I remember what the guide said properly. It is loud. But yeah, we're going to just try to follow the herd and see what happens. I'm I'm a follower. We'll figure it out. I, I'm still kind of unsure about how the portal works, but yeah, trial and error slowly figuring out i think we're messing up a lot still but apparently i can't even use this giant pouch because we need 75 room crafting to use it and i think just following whatever these symbols are i'm pretty sure there's a plugin to like tell me like which direction to go but i am lost very lost we'll, we'll figure it out okay okay we're, fi we're figuring it out we'll slowly and surely kind of get faster in at this i think i hope it's not too bad i got the plugin going now so it actually like points me at which orb these are supposed to be in and also i figured that there's a deposit pool so all these runes that we get we could just deposit right away instead of just dropping on the floor so this isn't terrible it's kind of fun so fun so far i think 2.3 or 2 point yeah 3k xp bonus and wait, where is everyone going where are oh they're just going to prep up for that but yeah, that actually wasn't that bad of a first run. Let's just deposit the pouch and yeah, that's not that bad. And I don't think we got that many points for a minute, but that's, we only got two points, I think. So yeah, let's just keep doing that. I, have, I still don't know what I properly want from this yet. And I don't know if I need a repair these patches yet but i should probably repair every other game i think well we'll figure it out as always i guess it's more of like once these degrade like as the barrow's armor does you can't really check it but we just keep using it until it degrades just like that and the guardians of the rift minigame is really popular right now like 
all the worlds are kind of filled up and only 100 people per world. So we've got to hop worlds because we got kicked out of the other one. And we'll just wait for this world. But I think we're slowly getting angry. Like our XP rate's like, what, 37k an hour right now? That's only after like two attempts of this minigame. Man, it's not too terrible. Still figuring it out. But we're getting there. I couldn't even get into the... The world before I was just that because once it opened up, everyone locked in and no one could go in. So I'm on the Australian server now. Now he's got to wait again for them to finish because they're at 40 percent. But I guess waiting's better than doing nothing. So we'll just wait here. Maybe I switch up what my fashion scape is. Maybe a different hat. I think this is what we're gonna rock. Not the best outfit, but it's something. We have the leader hosens and the rock armor because it gives us a chance of like. Mining an extra ore while we we're like mining those fragments that we can turn into the rune essence, guardian essence, whatever they're called. And this is the hat, only hat that we have that's actually kind of cool with this armor. So this is gonna be it, and we just gotta keep waiting. First level of the grind, sixty-four rune crafting, and we get no upgrades from that for rune crafting. I'm still not sure what the red versus the green totems to teleport to is because I don't I think maybe it might be less XP or less points I'm not sure but when it's usually like something cool like law runes or cosmic runes or nature runes I'd, I'm usually just gonna teleport there because I do prefer those runes getting those runes over the XP because this is this is pretty enjoyable so far it's not like the worst but it's not that bad I think it's kind of just like a it's more attentive than Temporos for sure, and if we had 77 rune crafting, we could do the blood runes to get the most XP. But, you know, it's fun as it is. Hopefully I could run out of here and get back in before this fills up, because I need to put my legs away because I forgot about them. It finally happened. I think this is what it means by it's like degraded, so it's grayed out rather than our little beige pouch. I think it's still empty it. But I'm not gonna fill it up no more and we're gonna repair it right after this game and hopefully we can get back into this lobby again. Well, apparently this chisel is not worth carrying because you only need the chisel for the guardians. And usually people with a higher runecrafting level are doing the guardians because low level guardians are kind of useless. So I guess this goes straight onto the floor. And now we get that plus one inventory space. Here's a note to remind myself this is how many runes I have at the start of this grind. Well, not really the start. It's been a little bit of doing this. But I'm still figuring this out. I mean, if we got rid of the chisel, I think we can get rid of the uncharged cells because it's not necessary because it requires me to run all the way to the barrier to repair. And yeah, it's a nice little amount of like room crafting XP, but it does require us to like run that extra step. So I think I'll give like another run of this without one of those cells and we'll see how that goes. I don't even know how much XP an hour that is, but let's just take that. 43,000 right now as like the current XP rate. Huge level coming in. 65 room or no. 65 rune crafting. Now we can actually enter the death altar portal and we also craft death runes. And 65 is the requirement for completing the hard Ardun diary. So we can do that anytime we want to now. But that's actually really cool because I kind of like focusing on chaos and death runes because in the future when we want to like get an onyx we probably were going to be selling a bunch of chaos runes and death runes to like to the, to the tazar like gem shop to get a bunch of tackle and then buying the onyx that way because i think that's the main method of i don't know getting an onyx but yeah now oh, 65 rune crafting who would have thought we'd be doing rune crafting and we give it to the guardian and next to the next portal our first time crafting death runes and i don't think we make that many per because our rune crafting levels are really low but yeah one for one basically for death runes and four two death runes oh the portal's open the portal's open south side gang's cooler than north side gang and the reason that these portals are kind of cool is because they start randomly every once in a while and they instantly teleport you to the mine area where you could create these essence rather than getting the fragments because the fragments you have to get slowly then you have to chip them into these essences whereas these guns or these ones just instantly turn them into essence so i could just come in here and mine it and we could go straight back into room crafting so the only portal we want to go to is earth and mine and the point system in this mini game is still kind of confusing so we get one point per 100 so if you have and then every other 
lower number rounds up to a percentage. So that means if we have 150 points, we get one point and a 50% chance of another point. So take that how you think that it is because that's how it is. Also a milestone from the 65 ring crafting is that we actually have a total level of 80, 50 now. Still a little confused on how the points work, but apparently someone said that one elemental energy is equivalent to one catalytic energy, so that's one pull from the reward golem. So I have a total of 35 pulls so far. So I should be doing both elemental and catalytic runes instead of just focusing on one or the other. 66 rune crafting. 67 rune crafting. 68 rune crafting. It's so difficult getting a world to get in because like there's like so many people waiting outside and there's only a hundred people a lot in every single time. So it's like once you leave the mini game just like to repair the pouches, it's like so difficult to get back in. It's probably the worst part about this mini game. So I guess no more for me today. Or for a while, I guess. Sad. I need I wanna just spend the whole day just grinding this out. And the last 69 we're ever going to have on this account, unfortunately. And we're so close to base 70. And I actually just accidentally left the lobby before the game ended, so I missed out on my XP and the amount of points I got. But currently we have 104 elemental and 112 catalytic, I think. But that means we have 104 total pulls in total. So I think I'm just going to pull from this reward guardian's belly, and we're going to see what we get. I mean... We're kind of looking for just, I think just the Abyssal Pearls because that could bring us to Felix over here and we could buy the rune crafting outfit because each piece gives you a 10% increase in the amount of runes you get per rune craft and when you have them together as a whole set you get 60% but it is kind of expensive to get so we'll see if we can get a lot of pearls. I mean there's some other cool stuff we can get from the Rewards Guardian like the Abyssal Needle and I think that's like and the main thing we want from it. So let's just hope that we get at least a good amount of pearls from this. There's no pearls yet, but first 11 pearls of the grind. And we actually got some intricate pouches, which are just like little pouches that have like more runes and all that. So let's open them and see what we get. I think just a bunch of chaos, a bunch of deaths, Ooh, a lamp, and some soul runes. Lamp, straight on the herb lore. Oh, we got the Abyssal Needle, which is pretty cool for when we get 75 room crafting, because that means we can combine the and a Catalytic Talisman. We're getting a lot of uniques right now. And the Abyssal Needle is kind of cool because we can combine the small, medium, and large and the giant pouch together to make a Colossal Pouch, but we can't use that Colossal Pouch until 85 room crafting, and we can't even use the giant pouch until 75 room crafting. So, I mean, it's cool for the future because a lot of people actually don't have this yet but you know that's <laughs> at least we got it early some i some people have been complaining that they're like super dry on it anyway and we got to add a pretty good drop we got like under 100 and it's a one in 300 about 70 room crafting and we actually get some little upgrades from that too I, i'm also going to end this mini game here i'm kind of tired of it because that was kind of long we completed 55 of these mini games and each one takes around 10 minutes so whatever that is divided into hours but with 70 rune crafting it's kind of cool because we can actually make now multiple fire runes and mine runes i usually ignore the mine runes but the fire runes would be kind of cool i don't know if the points is based on the amount of runes you make or just creating them I i'm not sure but we have 32 points left so let's just go pull and see what we get and that was the last pull, and unfortunately we didn't even get any more pearls, so we can't even afford any pieces from Apprentice Felix to get anything, because we only have a total of 181, and I think the cheapest thing is like 250, so we're kind of far from it. And from these pouches we should get a lot of, oh, tarnished locket. So I think this is, we could go get someone to enchant it and then that can give us a little teleport to here even though we already have the guardians of the rift teleport mini game so i don't know it's kind of just like a collection on item i guess i'll just put that inside this tab for now and yeah like look the amount of runes we actually got is kind of insane like the runes from the rewards and the runes from just crafting in general are just really insane and i should probably put up the comparison right now and 
I have Tears of Guthix to do. And to end off a runecrafting episode, we gotta do our weekly Tears of Runecraft. Actually, it's not even weekly. I've just not done this mini game in a while because that 12k XP for I don't even know how long it's been here. Like, well, like four minutes for like. I mean, it's kind of nice, but it's just out of the way. Whereas, like, the mini game is like, well, basically pretty fast anyway. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll do this every once in a while, but it's not really on my to-do list to actually just keep doing. Well, Tears of Guthics. It's it's a nice little boost, but yeah. Oh, also, that room crafting levels actually makes everything now to a base seventy, which is kind of crazy. So I'm thinking, like, at this rate we're probably gonna have prayer be the last one because prayer is just one of the more like slower things to train and room crafting with that mini game is not that bad and i should probably just like next time i do this probably stack up a lot more points so then i could actually just do one big pull like i do at like temporos and i should get back to temporos eventually too as well but i don't know that was actually pretty i don't know why i took up all my stuff that was pretty fun we got a lot of nice xp out of that we got a total of 1855 now we got a good amount of root crafter levels i don't even remember where we started but that was it wasn't that too bad it just took a little longer than expected but i think i don't even know what i want to do right now i was kind of jealous of like how many people inside that minigame have like a dragon pickaxe because all we have is our lame old rune pickaxe but maybe we will grind or kill some stuff in the wilderness to get a dragon pickaxe because I mean I don't, I don't know why like I see everybody in the mother load mine with a dragon pickaxe but a rune pickaxe isn't it's not as cool as a dragon pickaxe so maybe it's time for us to just go back into the wilderness and we'll never go back I hate the wilderness but we should go into the wilderness and maybe try to get a dragon pickaxe or oh, and while we do that we should probably be focusing on like just getting a lot of seaweed again and sand because crafting always needs to be nice because i mean we're pretty close to like jewelry we're just getting pretty close to getting the ring of suffering or yeah right, we could boost for it actually and we could also make a fury at 85 crafting because we could boost for the five and then probably want to be able to at least boost for the anguish if we want to but yeah that's kind of far away we don't even have enough talk gold to get like an onyx and <laughs> That is expensive. I mean, we have a nice little stack of Chaos Runes, so we could always just sell a bunch of those to get of some taco from, like, the uh, Tazar rune shop. But instead of doing barrows, this runecrafting thing is actually a pretty optimal way of getting runes now. But, so, anyway, until I can figure out what I want to do next, thanks for watching. Runecrafting isn't as bad as I thought it was, and I'll see you in the next one.